<laughs> I, I wonder if you're such uh, the same skill goes for AI. No, it's better <laughs> if we are doing oh. AI the same way as ah. we're doing pancakes. It's going to be, it's going to be funny. Oh, it's a skill issue. I would, I would wait a bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's not a skill issue. <laughs> this is beautiful. You told me to. to... <laughs> Can you try to connect it before it gets? <laughs> Okay, so we had an interesting uh, dinner uh, a few days ago. It was a few days ago or yesterday, maybe. <laughs> it depends uh, on how you cut the videos. <laughs> maybe, but also the time flies uh, so fast here. So we met with some OpenAI people uh, and we met with Sean Wang, uh, also known as Swix, yeah. and some other founders like AI, AI yeah. working on AI companies and was pretty interesting. A dinner, a sushi, one of the best sushi I've eaten. Not sure about you. It was one of the weirdest sushi sauce I've ever mm. tried. Uh, absolutely not available in Poland, I'd very, say. Very big uh, chunks of uh, yeah, tuna raw. and yeah, a very, very delicious one. Uh, yeah. Rocket Fresh. Sushi, it's yeah. called on the Market Street it was, I yep. think. If someone is interested in visiting, uh, I, I would recommend it. It, it's pretty, it was pretty interesting. Yeah, but I was told there is another one, better one. But yeah, Any, anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, we had a dinner and we were talking about uh, like different subjects uh, related to AI. Yeah, mostly. mostly. And one of the subjects was uh, Devin, this like uh, autonomous uh, programmer agent. Yeah. So Swix has access to it and he wrote a pretty interesting thread on Twitter, on X. If you're interested, like saying what's what's good about this and what's bad, what <clears throat> Devin is good at, and so, so maybe in let let's summarize what Devin is mm -hmm. in in short. What does it do? What problem does it solve? Yeah, so it's like um, uh, emulation of a, of a programmer, of a junior programmer, and eventually of a of a real programmer. Maybe uh, the idea is that you give a task to this uh, to this tool, and it can autonomously independently from you, uh, work on it. So it yep. can read the readme, search the web, debug, add some like a uh, console log or like depending on the language, uh, st a console log yeah. <laughs> and pr so, <laughs> printing statement, I wanted to say. Yeah, so it's not, uh, so it's not a junior programmer because junior programmers cannot do it <laughs> autonomously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, there was like this um, gradation uh, and other systems like uh, ChatGPT, uh, Claude and, and other, um, so they were like there was this like a metric where they were uh, saying how much of the how how uh, the percentage of the problem that the tool can solve uh, on its own, and uh, there was like also difference between being assisted and not assisted. So assisted means that if the yeah. system uh, didn't didn't know what to do, the human could I intervene uh, and like uh, add some things to clarify and maybe. The system uh, would continue working on on the problem. For the Devin, it, it's completely autonomous. So the idea was that allegedly, yeah, allegedly, because we we not many people have access to it, and uh, as with other AI tools, it's difficult to still measure certain things. But just wanted to say about the the metrics. So other systems were about five percent. So let's say five percent of the problems are possible to solve uh, by those tools right now. And for Devin, it was 13%, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, really? So it was like uh, almost three times uh, more uh, problems yeah. uh, that could be could be solved. So we were talking about that and... Uh, what We are trying to get our hands on it. Yeah, so we, we, we are will be reaching out to, to Swix and to Devin. Yeah, we are trying. Uh, what's interesting about this company is that in the, in the founder uh, or founders, is that uh, most of them, people working right now at this company called Cognition AI, mm -hmm. if, if I'm not mistaken, is that they are uh, Olympics uh, maths and informatics computer science Olympics uh, winners, yeah. and gold, gold medalists. So that these are like a very yeah. also interesting bunch of people. Harvard graduates. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, I don't want to like... Uh, no, I mean, Smart people. Yeah, yeah extremely smart people. Extremely yeah, smart uh, people. That's the, the let's of let's that. not get into the discussion about the universities again. Uh, <laughs> so it's interesting that they are working on this. Uh, there was even like um, a documentary or like some videos on YouTube uh, talking about the founder at, when he was young. 
He was participating in some TV shows, uh, like um, math competitions, when he was like a very old, mm. very young, uh, and doing, like amazing, uh, amazing stuff. So it's really interesting that they are working on this. We will be trying to get access to it, maybe even reach out. Well, well we, we reach yeah. out, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. sure if we can do interview uh, with this particular person. So that's the idea. Um, interesting topic. One of the topic we we raised and we were dis discussing uh, interesting times. There are other people working on similar projects. Uh, I've also seen some uh, backslash or like uh, things happening on YouTube that people were commenting the videos that uh, Devin is like the cognition AI is releasing, uh, like uh, you yeah, know culture ways. points, which are also interesting to if, interesting if, to watch. Definitely. Yeah. So just to compare and contrast. What's... I mean, obviously the the videos they release are a bit of marketing stuff. So yeah. you have to take it with a with a grain of salt, so yeah. to say. But I mean, it's it's progress and it's amazing either way. Okay, so what do you think about junior programmers? Do you think they will be able to find a job mm. in this new setting? No, I think they they have hard time finding a job even right now. And when Devin is released, they they will be doomed. Well, de depending if what uh, Devin promises is is correct, right? Unless uh, you find other ways uh, to. Like keep track of uh, AI developments, and our course Zero to One AI is one of the uh, one of ways that you could uh, that could help you, right? Yeah. The idea for the for the course Zero to One AI is to provide you with some practical uh, examples. We were thinking about five projects, right? Five examples of uh, uh, like tools you can build with AI that show you different areas of uh, what was happening right now. Yeah. Zero to One AI dot com. Check it out. Yeah. Okay, so we are ready. So today we will be showing you how we cook in U in USNA. Do you know how to cook in USNA? Yes. So what's the plan? A lot of fat. We will be doing. So maybe let's show the ingredients what we have here. Today we'll be doing uh, eggs. We bought some white eggs, white eggs, which is pretty unusual for Europe, I would say. Now or? they are available around the Easter. Ah. Because it's easier to paint on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in, in States, I think it's like a regular, yeah. more regular thing. Yep. Uh, and what, what do we have? Sunnyside Farm, like a local California. Yeah, great large, um, non organic. <laughs> non organic, for, I don't know why. But yeah, no. but wanted to show you the authentic thing. And bacon. we have the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> like I, how much it is, it's like. It's uh, enough. Almost Don't worry, it's enough. Half a kilo of, of bacon, and we have uh, bagels with jalapeno this time. Bagels with jalapeno, yeah. It's, uh, it's like the best form of bread you can get around here, I guess. Uh, we also will be doing pancakes. Yeah, right. Buttermilk. So it's just uh, it's, some it's kind of. It's funny because like a... in Poland you, you might think that you, you need to mix some ingredients yourself, but in US and A, you just <laughs> buy it and, <laughs> and it's done. And we also bought this very special, unusual butter. It says European style butter, uh, <laughs> which oh, we've, we've bought the salted one. Yeah. Oh, damn it! I thought it's it was unsalted. Yeah. But it's I, I'm wondering. If we, we should have bought two because I'm wondering what's the difference between the European one and uh, the European. regular US and A. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. the, most of the uh, on the on the same shelf as, as butters, the most of the stuff was actually not butter. It was like oils and. The, the things that we consider unhealthy, generally, in Europe. Yeah, maybe we should show... Uh, yeah, the, the shopping experience. In uh, at some point, yeah. And we bought some coffee. Uh, <coughs> organic, this or, time. This time, <laughs> this time, the coffee is organic. Yeah, and we are looking in the US, uh, most of the coffees are very uh, roasted, like dark mm -hmm. roast. So we are looking for this light, medium roast. Uh, hard to find. It was yeah, probably the rare. only one on the, yeah. on the shelf. So we got it. Uh, it's it's more comparable to what we have in Europe. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Maybe we should talk a little bit about the kitchen here because there is a lot of interesting uh, equipment. So we have like a microwave. And, and then we have the oven. The other microwave, yeah, the oven. And then we have the other oven. <laughs> yeah, so it's... Uh, yeah, there is generally there is a lot of work working space, but it's so cluttered by the coffee machine oven, another oven. Yeah. The, the rack and everything, so there is not really an, enough room to to cook. <laughs> in the US, you all you, you often have this like uh, island, right, in the middle. Yeah. Sometimes in the I mean and sometimes often in the kitchen. Uh, 
This is it's just, it's a, a table. It's just a table, but yeah, this is like a smaller, I would say, kitchen. And then I also wanted to mention the size of this beast. Yeah. <laughs> and the sound sometimes. Yeah, the sound. Is it, is it on? Yeah, it's on again. Yeah, it, it's huge. I mean, we got... The, it's standard in in US. Uh, it's large in Europe, so that, that's that's what I wanted to say. So let's try to make something. So we we already prepared some uh, uh, yeah. pancakes uh, yeah. using try. the <laughs> using the <laughs> using the powder. Yeah, the mix. Uh, and there is like a voila! It's <laughs> pretty fast. We we made <laughs> we made one. <laughs> you are close <laughs> enough. You're skilled. <laughs> I, I wonder if you're such uh, the same skill goes for AI. <laughs> no, it's better <laughs> if we are doing oh. AI the same way as ah. we're doing pancakes. It's going to be it's going to be funny. Okay. Um, uh, so I'll put on the coffee and eat the rest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what what we're gonna do is maybe we should start with the with the bacon. So maybe uh, yeah. Let me just quickly. Cut it and uh, do you want me to pre warm the pan? Yes, please. You, you can pre warm the pan. Okay, I'm pre warming the pan. <laughs> and we have also this like uh, cooking oil, which is uh, avocado. <laughs> uh, uh, but I don't. I mean spray. But I think for bacon, we don't need oil at all. Yeah, it's of so course. It's fatty. Yeah, yeah, you're but, right. But it's, but it's unusual, right? For Europe. Uh, have you yeah. ever seen? I think I've seen something like, like that, but uh, okay, yeah. I've I've never seen it in in this form before, like spray. And there is just some like a yeah, the foil foil to keep it clean, I guess. Easier for cleaning. Yep. But I think it's just a matter of Airbnb. Okay, so let's why we wait for, and last time we were using it. Uh, it was like uh, getting hot pretty fast. Yeah, it's hard to adjust. It's it's hard to adjust. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, we're making it hotter. It's hard to hard to get the temperature right, right? Because the last time we were using it, we actually burned uh, eggs. Yeah, we burned eggs, and also this pan is, I think, pretty used because it's like uh, already the shape is. Everything goes it's, on the it's side. It's not, not in a good shape in general. Yeah. So another good thing about California is that we have a lot of good uh, avocado here. Uh, they are usually relatively cheap and much better quality than in Europe. Uh, maybe except France, because in France they are <laughs> also very good. <laughs> but in Poland, <laughs> it's like... Uh, in Poland it's also very good. It's just a bit harder. It's harder to find, yeah, good ones here. No, I mean, I didn't mean harder to find, I mean hard, like... Is it, is it working? Yes, it's working. This pan is a bit weird. <coughs> okay, so we have this old school pour over coffee maker. We clean this up a little bit and we will put the filter and coffee in. That's pretty much it. Maybe it needs some AI <laughs> to guide you. The one we've got previously, I think it's yeah, the, the previous the ones. The previous one was better. Yeah, this is like um, yeah, but we'll see. Maybe we, because last time we we bought it at a place called Traders uh, Joe. Tra Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, yeah. Which is also available in Poland in, in some places. One, two. Oh, 
Oh, I guess that's okay, I think coffee. the pan is warm. I'm not sure if it's warm enough. Yeah, yeah but you can put bacon. We'll see. We, we can. <laughs> yeah, we can already try it. So this is. Uh, we were talking about it before. That sometimes you can find sug even sugar in bacon in the US, yeah, yeah. right? We mm. uh, actually I was looking at one without sugar. It's crazy. Oh, it's warm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but bacon tastes different here. No, it doesn't. For, for me, it does. No, it's like auto-suggestion. No, I, I mean because of the... Of the sugar. Sugar, yeah. But this one is without sugar, so yeah, it yeah. be so the this same. one maybe will be... Um, I can just... Uh, so, a typical... about kitchen <laughs> cooking you know yeah i think we're doing pretty good here are you no i'm <laughs> joking no you are have you guys looked through all the drawers already oh ah, that's better even for, for bacon yeah i'm not sure if it's uh, I don't think it should be used with warm things. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not. And here we have some plates. Uh, yeah, let's take up one for the bacon, right? Mm -hmm. I'll put some paper on it. Just to absorb the, the fat. Uh, what else? We can... What are we doing? The eggs? Yeah, we can just do... bacon. <laughs> There's a lot of fat, so we can use that fat and we can maybe do some you eggs. Do this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's add... Um, so once... Um, I'm not sure. Do you think it's already... No. Maybe a bit more? Yeah. It needs to be crunchy. But I'm, I'm wondering about the bagels. Should I preheat the bagels already? Let's do this. Let's do this. But it gets... Uh, the inter interesting thing is that the outside of it gets pretty warm. So it might even burn things. Uh, let's select the bagel. And let's put the bagel in. There are a lot of other programs as well. Bake roast, broil, pizza cookies, reheat warm, and toast and bagel. And um, yeah, off we go. Oh yeah, it might burn. Let me put it on the. Yeah. Right Yeah, so I think the bacon is uh, already... Let me help you. Mm -hmm. Would you like to check? Uh. <laughs> Put it in my mouth. <laughs> Directly from the pan. <laughs> <laughs> the best te testing experience. Yeah, it's... Um, I think it's not done yet, but... Maybe this one I will leave for a moment and it's we can... It's crunchy enough. I think it's, yeah, well, I mean... Put it in the middle. <laughs> the, this pan is like... No, the middle is the hottest. Uh, yeah, but you're right, you're right. Yeah, but the pan, pan is weird, the shape is weird. I'm not sure if it's supposed it's, to be like that or... It's weird and it, there's some like a places, like a spots, yeah. and blind spots. <laughs> Where it's like in, like in a microwave. I'm not sure if you should put it on a pan like this because it leaves a mark on the. So.
So let me add uh, some eggs. I lower the temperature. Uh, yeah, good, great idea. But it's it's hot either way, so it will probably burn first. Do more, more, more. But do we want to like scramble eggs or? No, I was thinking about like. A I'm getting hungry again. So you're, you're getting hungry, okay? Yeah. So I'll do six. Just looking at you cooking makes me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea to cover it. Thank you. And we can, while we wait for the eggs, we can uh, make this pancake a bit warmer because we prepared that. Or we can do another one. <laughs> or we can do another one. Uh, so, yeah, and we have the, yeah, the bagels. bagels in like 15 minutes, uh, seconds. Ta -da! Awesome. Have you ever cooked anything? <laughs> no. Like ever? It's the first time I'm doing it. Yeah. It shows. <laughs> so we decided to buy a new uh, pan, pan because the equipment we have here is... Yeah, but we didn't. Far so. from ideal, <laughs> I would say. We've decided to do it, but we didn't do it. So. <laughs> Classic. We haven't used the battery yet, but I think... Yeah, but the there is a, a lot of fat from the... From the bacon. bacon. Yeah. But you can still put butter on your uh, mm -hmm. bagel, right? Let's check the eggs. Uh, yeah. Stop checking the eggs. Leave eggs alone. Yeah. This is what we found in the... Um, in the fridge, so we have uh, butter-rich yeah. syrup, high fructose corn syrup. So it's corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, which are so there are two types of corn syrup, yeah. I think. Water, salt. Uh, so and all, all good, good stuff. But it contains no butter. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Which is good to know. So I think we made it. Put it here and let's do another one. That's enough. That's more than enough. So, and uh, yeah, I think, I think the pan is not warm, but whatever. <laughs> and you can cover it. I can cover it and wait for it to burn. Okay, do you want some eggs? Yeah, we should. I have some eggs on the plate. No? Okay, more firms. <laughs> not what I expected. Be, be careful. Okay, Mama. I will. And two another eggs coming in. Oh, it's a skill issue. I would, I would wait a bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely a skill issue. <laughs> this is beautiful. You told me to. <laughs> Can you try to connect it before it gets? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Don't worry. <laughs> Not worry. <laughs> I'm just saying that maybe we should wait a little bit longer before flipping, but no. That's okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Why is everything so hot? <laughs> Flip your pumpkin. One more time. <laughs> Jesus. What happens here? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I think you're your girlfriend gonna love this video. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, you're assuming you actually can cook, so... Okay, uh, one more plate. 
light, right? And there is coffee ready, so I'll bring our mugs. Beacon of hope. Beacon of hope. Yeah, what the, about the, the pancake rest of is the eggs. The rest of the eggs are waiting for the other person. Yeah, the other person is holding camera right now. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so the Do you want coffee, Kuba? Yeah, yes, please. <laughs> Just be careful if it's not too uh, too too hot. Just check if it's the right temperature. Oh, there's some milk. Yeah, I don't use milk. Thank you. But the size of it. <laughs> yeah, that's a big. It's like a gallon of milk, right? Big container. Yeah, four mil four liters. Liters. Three point seventy. What's liter? What's liter? Liter. Yeah, I have no idea what a liter is. <laughs> Coffee. I'm not sure which Mac was yours, so mm, it is okay. I think I'll drink both. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, so I think this the pancake is, is ready. This is um, me. I will turn it off. We can wait for it to, and let's yeah, let's put some the yeah. Sugar. <laughs> Let's put some corn sugar. Mmm. Wow. So can you pour some in my mouth? I and can, yeah. Off, off camera. <laughs> if I pay you extra, will you do it on the camera? Okay, so we have... Uh, we've finished. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>